on. I'm going to show you today a uh, NPath query that's going to run against a Hadoop file system, and we're going to look at a peaks and valley NPath query. And I'll get into what that means as we uh, go into the actual uh, query here. So what you're looking at is uh, Aqua Data Studio, and it's a query tool just like any other query tool. And as you can see, I'm running a, uh, a, data, a data set from this V Daily PV, which is a view. And this view points to a uh, set of uh, files that are located in Hadoop and inside of the uh, Hive um, and, and Hive data system, as well as uh, our reference through the H catalog system. They're using our Query Grid connector um, from Aster into uh, into uh, um, Hadoop. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull back the contents or the DDL, the data definition language of this particular view, and show you how that view is constructed. Um, and uh, we'll take a look at that. So here is the actual data definition language for that particular view. And as you can see, we are pulling back directly from um, our uh, load from each catalog driver. And we're going up against uh, uh, this Hadoop system right here. And this is just the uh, login information and the name of the database and so forth of the, uh, and the, and the, the table name. Inside of uh, inside of Hadoop here, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get this NPath query running, and it'll take about a minute and a half to run, and uh, and I'll explain what the NPath query is doing. So we are now running a um, NPath query directly against that Hadoop system, um, and it's a pretty powerful query. What it's doing is is basically we'll go through this, select star from NPath. So you know this is an NPath query. It's how all of our SQL MapReduce and SQL GR graph um, analytics work, so you select star from NPath, and then I have this on statement, and this on statement is actually pulling from select star from v daily PV, which is what we just looked at right there. And, um, and I have a where clause in here, so the data inside of my um, Hadoop system is partitioned by day. So Wikipedia was kind enough to give us about um, a month of data, which is about a half a billion records. So if you look here, I actually have a half a billion records here inside of this view. And um, so I'm actually going against only three days of that data. And so I'm partitioning by page name, which is one of the fields here, right here, page name. And that would be like a search topic inside of Wikipedia. Um, and then I'm, I'll, before we get to the patterns, I'll go into the symbols. And what we're looking for is what we call a peak in a valley, right? Something that goes up and or starts at a, at, a, at a low point, goes up to a high point, and then may go down back to a low point. So you can say here, page view, which is page view right here, is less than 1,000 hits or 1,000 views, and we'll define that as a symbol of low. And then this one we'll define as a, as a as something that comes back, and you see our query just came back, but let's keep going. Um, the page view greater than 20,000 hits will define as high. Um, and then another set of page views that will that will go below 1,000 hit as low two. And so as you can see, these are the elements that make up my pattern. So I have low to low, high to high, and low to to low to. And then you have, so you have this low plus, which means that this must happen at least once, once too many times, followed by the dot high, which is above 20,000 plus, so this must happen once, at least once, followed by a low two, and that's low two, which has a star after it and an asterisk, which means that it must happen zero too many times. So it means that this may or may not come back, and that's why you're going to see some different results here. Um, my results are then pushed back here, and these fields are really the result set that's going to be pushed back into my NPath query. And as you can see, it took about um, oh, about a minute and 20 seconds to run, and here are the lists of my of my fields. So you can see, if I switch to uh, view mode, and I'll sort by views low two, is that Daryl Katz and this Heterocorpus Ensafar and David Bleak went from under 1,000 hits, 73, 45, 33, um, on these days, so it's one of the three days that we searched in our work clause, went above 20,000 hits here, and then on this day, and then fell down below 1,000 hits on this particular day. And if you remember, based on our low two um, uh, symbol here in the pattern, it's, it has an asterisk, which means it may or may not happen. So you'll see that it'll also bring back some values here for Places uh, that, or for topics that came back, or did not go below twenty or below a thousand hits, 
Um, so that's pretty much it. Now that's that's pretty neat because what that means is, is I can look for fluctuations in different values of data points and uh, it's a very powerful type of analytic to run and do with one line of, of, of end path I'm able to do that and um, you know just just uh, imagine what kind of work this would take to build if it were a multi-pass SQL operation or just a, a program you'd have to write yourself. So that pretty much concludes my end path video um, on peaks and valleys and I hope you enjoyed it. Take care. Bye.